Lock Keeper, who's trained and driven by Don Swick. Of course, number one, Like a Prayer, is scratch sick. Number three is Tequila Dandy, all by Richardson Racing Stable, trained and driven by Dick Richardson, Jr. Number four, the Philly Limitless Sky, all by the partnership of Liebfeld, Katz, and Goldband, trained by Chuck Sylvester. John Campbell drives Limitless Sky. Trainer Brett Biddle won the first division of this late closer. He sends out the five Pine Hill Vogue, a two-year-old filly owned by Tom Crouch, and Biddle will drive. Number six, Striking Gator, owned, trained, and driven by Rick Beinhauer. Number seven is Game of Skill, owned by Schnitker, Seal Stables, and Skeeler, trained and driven by Ray Schnitker, and completing the field, number eight, Speedy Link, owned by Jim Wheeler, Pair Erickson trains, and Jim Martinez is in the sulky behind Speedy Link. So that's the field of seven for the sixth race. Late closing trot for two-year-olds, sponsored by Royal Wire Products, and the start of the pick four, six minutes till post. Post time for the sixth race. Late closing trot for two-year-olds. First leg of the pick four. They're all lined up in behind the gate, and here they come. And they're off. Lock Keeper trots out well from the inside. Striking Gator up on the outside at Limitless Sky. The filly for Campbell is between horses racing in third. Tequila Dandy slides through on the inside into fourth position. Pine Hill Vogue looks for an early seat from fifth. Game of Skill sixth on the inside. And Speedy Link at the back of the pack trails in the early stages as they trot around the opening turn moving toward the quarter. And it's Striking Gator up on the outside and now forges his way to a short lead. Limitless Sky yields for the pocket in second, opening quarter in 29 and one. And here comes Don Swick with Lock Keeper, an aggressive early move. And Lock Keeper is looped around Limitless Sky, now into second position, and is coming up to challenge Striking Gator for the front. Tequila Dandy is gapped slightly for Striking Gator is off stride. Striking Gator has gone on a break, so Lock Keeper inherits the lead as they head toward the half. Further back in fifth is Speedy Link. Game of Skill is six to his outside. And then moving up is Pine Hill Vogue. Now into sixth around the breaking striking Gator as they reach the half in 57 and one. So Lock Keeper with that strong backside brush is a length and a half clear. Game of Skill ranging up on the outside for Schnitker. Now third, just two and a half lengths from the lead. Limitless Sky is right there in the pocket on the inside second. Tequila Danny is second over on the outside fourth. Five lengths from the front. A rail ride throughout for Speedy Link in fifth and Pine Hill Vogue is third over sixth on the outside behind gapping cover as they hit three quarters in 127 and four and come to the top of the stretch and it's Lock Keeper on the inside. Limitless Sky tips out of the pocket for Campbell and here she comes with a strong rush for the lead. It's Limitless Sky trotting by to the front. Lock Keeper is given way in second. Game of Skill on the outside third but it's Limitless Sky with a 16 to go. Game of Skill still chasing but two lengths back. They're coming to the finish. Limitless Sky Campbell wins again. Game of skill with second, and Lockkeeper finishes third in 157 flat. And Royal Wire Products. So Limitless Sky trotting in 157 national season's record. My star chip had held the national season's record to date with a mile in 157 and 1 at DuCoin. And ironically, uh, she was also driven by John Campbell for trainer Chuck Sylvester. So Limitless Sky in 157 to take the sixth race.